Hello viewers. Have you ever been struggling with grinding in blocks fruits? Possibly due to the high level cap. Or trying to get mastery for a sword you want to use. That's very relatable. Everyone has been in the same boat at one point or another. However, I made this video to give people advice on how they can combat the tedious life of blocks fruits grinding. I have 4 tips that I have used to consistently grind in an easy way and I'd like to share them with you to help you all out. Let's go! Ok, so my first tip is to use a low gear fruit when grinding, for me, it's sand fruit. Of course, they give you an immunity to NPCs, so you don't have to constantly move around, to avoid dying. It makes it much more convenient for you to train yourself. However, you must take into account the fact that the immunity requires you to be some levels above the NPC, which means that you would need up to 88 levels over to work. In my opinion, I would rather wait, to make things easier for me than struggle. Overall, I think that it is a reliable method to improve grinding. Which is why I often try to make low gear fruits work. My second tip is to gather NPCs together. I find it to be quicker than killing them one by one, and it helps to get quests done in batches. I also like it when I get a new skill, and get to watch my mastery grow quickly, in a short amount of time. I also find this to be quite helpful, when I am using a temporary X boost, and want to make the most of it, before it runs out. This may not be as useful for non-low gear users, because you can get jumped by NPCs, so it's not for everyone. My third tip, is to download an auto clicker, unfortunately, this does not work for mobile or console players. It only works for PC players, so please skip if it does not apply to you. Before you worry about getting banned for auto farming, you won't. Auto clicking is separate and legal to use in blocks fruits. It is OP for low gear users as well as Buddha users who also use it in PvP, which can be very annoying, if you want, you can use it overnight, at the expense of your electricity bills. I recommend not grinding at NPCs with the enhancement ability. It is very inconvenient. It is the same as not having a low gear at all. The opportunity cost is that you may not get as much EXP in the late game as most NPCs have enhancement ability. But still, it can come in handy if you are AFK auto clicking and still want to grind mastery. Overall, these are my 4 tips to improve your grinding experience. Do you guys have any other recommendations? If so, mention it in the comments below. Thank you for watching everyone and I will catch you in another video. Later.